scrum. Every scrum is foot up. Look at possession in this second half, and it tells a green tale. So Rory Best looking for O'Connell again. Jim Hamilton trying to get there, but a Henshaw crashing on through. And to the forwards again. He's looked with a bit of work. And then Omani has it. And are looking to engage what? forward thrust in their mall, but they've had one shot at it. Down it goes. Not yet. Still going. And Omani now at the back as it makes progress. And Conor Murray just trying to sneak through around the fringes. And he's lipped. It's Keen Healy again. And now a bit of width. Sexton. Crash ball through the middle. It's another try. It's Janet Payne. Ireland have try number three. Well, they created that for them all. They really got Scotland on the back foot there. I was looking at the way they were lining it. They were still very, very narrow. I'm surprised they didn't put a little bit more width because they really didn't give themselves any other option but to come back in. But at this stage, the sheer weight of numbers. Scottish defence trying to cover far too many Irish attackers. And that gave Jared Payne the space, he spotted it, and he was able to take that one. That's kept things moving. That's really what Ireland would wanted to have seen. They wanted to see a return, wanted to see a, a try as a return on for possession. And it is a seven-point try, it is getting close already. Half an hour to go, first try in Irish colours for Jared Payne. Yeah, he hit the ball hard, didn't he see Sexton taking it to the line? Cartney coming back and then Jared Payne takes a fantastic line and hits it flat out, he hits it a pace. And before Blair Cowan knows he's got the ball, he's passed him and he's under the sticks. As good as this is for Ireland, my goodness, it's, it's good at the moment. 